Hello, this is Scott Buceno, editor of Telecoms.com here at Mobile World Congress 2024, and I'm delighted to be speaking to George Sertzis from Qualcomm. So, George, maybe you could start by, I know Qualcomm's announced, we've made a lot of announcements at the show across all sorts of device form factors. Could you just give us a, a, a summary of, of some of those and, and where Qualcomm fits into those form factors? Yeah, um, very happy to do so. So, uh, Qualcomm this year is uh, taking AI across uh, all device categories. Basically, we have been incorporating neural processing units, NPUs, into our chipsets for many years now. Uh, but they, they, they have been used for doing, you know, our cameras have been using AI for quite a while now, and speech recognition, things like that. Um, so now what is happening is two things. First of all, uh, we are optimizing NPUs for generative AI applications, and we are taking the capability across the device portfolio. So not only in our smartphones, but also in automotive, in uh, AI, in XR, in everything. So all our platforms have strong uh, neural processing unit capabilities and they are getting optimized for generative AI. Okay, uh, that's great. So obviously AI is a major theme of the show this year and we all associate Qualcomm with connectivity. Perhaps you could give us a sense of how AI and connectivity combined are gonna drive economic growth. Yes, indeed. So uh, I, used to, I used to say that um, uh, 5G and XR is a, a match made in heaven. And uh, I still believe in that, uh, especially as we see augmented reality glasses uh, connected to our smartphones and uh, allowing us to go out into the world and experience uh, different uh, mixed reality experiences in, in the open world. So 5G XR always made sense to me. And now AI is even more obvious because uh, the best use of AI is to help you deal with the world around you. And uh, doing that on the move is, uh, is obvious, and uh, using connectivity while you do that is, uh, is uh, pretty clear to me. And also, um, combining even with XR, as I was, uh, have been saying the, the, the last few years, is a, is a very obvious use case. I'm re really looking forward to the ability to work around with glasses that understand where I, where I am. I don't need to take out my phone to do things. I can take pictures, videos of the world, but also ask questions. When I see somebody that I don't recognize, my phone should know who, who they are. Or if I see a new site, a new event that I am not uh, fully aware of, I can, I can ask what, what this is about. And uh, uh, the, the technology knows my full context. And that combination, I think, is very powerful. And it translates also in home with Wi-Fi. So that was the 5G story, if you like. But um, Wi-Fi with VR um, and AI, I think it's a very powerful combination as well, uh, where you getting immersed in a new environment and now you can use uh, AI to, uh, to interact with it in a very different ways. So I, I think all these things fit together very nicely. Yeah. It, 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 you, know, you paint a, quite a complete picture, and I, you know, I've often thought um, that the most utopian use case for a lot of the technologies we talk about is the sort of things that you just alluded to, the sort of heads-up display, where you superimpose digital information and, and help on the, on the world. Um, so, and, and Qualcomm's sort of been on top of this for quite a while. I know that last year one of your big announcements was a thing called Stable Diffusion. Perhaps we could finish by um, asking you what you think like, the, the mega story of the Mobile Congress 24 is going to be. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So last year we showed for the first time Stable Diffusion running on device completely without any reliance to the cloud. And, uh, that, that was very impressive in itself. But now what has happened this year is that first of all, we have productized this capability, basically the ability to run generative AI models on the device directly uh, has been fully commercialized in our Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which powers uh, things like the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and other devices, our Mi Honor uh, uh, announced device like that. All these devices now have capability to run uh, large language models, large video models on, on device. So we went from uh, prototype limitations to commercialization very quickly. And now really it's all about taking it across the board and deepen across the board in terms of device types, as I said at the beginning. 
but also then deepening the capabilities, eh, enriching the capabilities. So some of the things we're showing this year in the, in the booth here in Qualcomm is, uh, for example, multimodal AI. The ability not only to do text to speech or text to image, but uh, to combine uh, text and images as a prompt to the model. Right? So th that the, 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 the device can start to understand uh, more complex questions from us. So this is, this is uh, the, the theme of this year. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing how rapidly AI, especially Gen AI, is progressing right now. And so it must be, you must have your hands full keeping up with it all. But, yeah, uh, and it's uh, great to do it. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you.